I remember standing about 20 feet from a whole field of cars zooming past me at speeds of a minimum of 190 miles an hour. I could even feel little bits and pieces of rubber hitting me in my face from their tires as they were going so fast as I went by. I was about 10 years old at my first race and I was addicted. The sounds were a whole lot different when you were actually there at Daytona International Speedway as opposed to sitting at home on your couch watching it with your friends or your parents. I mean, the people all over the place wondering, one, who's going to pass the finish line first, two, if their car is even going to make it around the track every single time with the other cars. The only thing I could say to my dad for about half the day was how much more amazing it was being at the race than sitting at home watching it on TV. Hi, my name is Thomas, and today I'm going to tell you why being at a NASCAR race is way better than sitting at home watching it on TV, and why you should go to a race instead of sit at home and watching it on TV. I'm going to do this by explaining to you the good things about being there, the things that you don't see on TV that you do see when you're there, and my personal experiences and feelings from actually being at a race. So, first things first, is the only reason I feel like I can actually explain to you why you should go to a race instead of sitting on your couch is because I've been to races and I watch them on TV every Sunday that I can't be at a race. I've been to about six races, all have been at Daytona International Speedway since I grew up in Orlando, Florida, not far from there. I've been to truck races, ARCA races, nationwide, and of course Sprint Cup races. And truck races are awesome because instead of seeing a car go by, you're seeing a pretty much miniature truck, is how I describe them, miniature fast trucks. Uh, when I was at my first truck race, there was actually a very bad accident where the race car driver, Bobby Hamilton, who's been racing for a long time, hit the wall, his hood flew up into the stands, and about a football field away from us injured someone sitting there watching the race. Uh, they had to take them out to the hospital. I'm sure they were fine. Don't know for sure, but I'm hoping that they were. This was a long time ago. Um, I've also been to ARCA races. ARCA races are great because instead of seeing the normal drivers that you always see in the normal cars, they actually have professionals from different sports try to race and compete on the level that the pros would from other different sports. So they all kind of get together and it's a melting pot of race car drivers and it's also usually included when another race is on or when another race is being done at Daytona. Um, nationwide race and sprint cup races are also great because you see the rookies do the same thing that the pros do except not as good so that's why it's also fun to see both of those races uh, whenever you get the chance my favorite race of all is has to be the bud shootout the reason is because this race is shorter than most it's exactly what it is a shootout from finish or from beginning to end to see who can end uh, in the number one spot it's also not worth any points, so drivers pretty much go all out, do anything they can just to win that race, just simply for bragging rights. And another great thing is that it's a night race. Seeing the cars underneath the lights, hearing the sounds at a different time of day than you would is pretty amazing. Another great thing about the Bud Shootout is that since it's not a point race, it's not as serious, it's a lot more partying going on in the stands than everyone worrying about what's going to happen because you're at a racetrack, you're seeing the cars go by, and you're not sitting at home watching it on TV. Now, I can tell you about the races I've been to all day long, but you definitely want to hear about the good things about being at a race rather than not being there and watching it on TV. Number one has to be the true adrenaline rush that you get when you're there, seeing the cars go by you from about 190 miles an hour to 200 miles an hour at a minimum. Not only that, but when I mentioned in the beginning of my speech rubber hitting your face, you have to understand that rubber is hitting your face because it's wearing off the tires because they're going so fast that it's melting the tires and little bits and pieces are coming off. That is true adrenaline. Now, on the other hand, you also have the camaraderie of being at a race. It's great because you're making friends with people that you've never even met before and don't even know and probably will never even see again just because you're all either rooting for the same person, rooting against the same person, or rooting against each other. Now, you would think that that would cause a little bit of a problem, but instead of hating that person, you end up getting along with them because in the end, you both are cheering for the same thing, your driver to win. So you have that in common no matter where you go, no matter what race you're at, no matter who they are. The other great thing is that you don't have any commercials. When the race is getting good and one person's going to pass another person, or one person might wreck someone else, instead of going to commercial and seeing that this bud's for you, commercial, you're going to actually be able to see it happen right there. You're not going to be seeing multiple replays at home, you see it once. The other great thing is just the pure sounds and sights of cars going faster than you've ever even thought of. 
I mean, everyone thinks about it once in a while in their life, going about 200 miles an hour around a racetrack, racing the person next to you that's, in reality, on the highway, knowing that you can't go 200 miles an hour because you're afraid you're not going to survive after you make it that fast. These people get to do that all the time, and to be there and see this happen is just pure amazing. Now that I've told you about why being at a race is better, let me tell you what you see in person that you can't see when you're sitting on your couch at home. Um, other than everything, I mean, instead of just the TV stations focusing on the number one, two, or three position, you actually get to see number five, six, seven, etc., etc., all the way to about 42, 43, depending on how many people are racing. You can watch the last place person go around the track for the whole race when someone at home wouldn't see them the entire race but you'll be able to because you're there. Now, that's probably not the most exciting part watching the last place person, but you get you understand that you get to see a lot more go on. Instead of seeing the aftermath of the accident, you actually get to see it when it happens from where you're sitting at, instead of seeing it on TV and seeing it played multiple times, trying to figure out who did what. You're not worried about that when you're at a race. All you're doing is worried about how it happened, if they're okay, and then continue on. That's it. I mean, not to mention you get pure racetrack food, kind of like ball game food instead of sitting at home eating hamburger helper. I mean, there's no way you're ever going to be able to make as good a lemonade at home as you would get at Daytona National Speedway. Now, in conclusion, I hope that the points I've made today can persuade you to actually go to a NASCAR race one day rather than sit at home and watching it on TV. My experiences of being at Daytona, the good things about being at a racetrack as well as what you see when you're actually there as opposed to watching it at home on your local news channel. Um, with all this, I hope that if you ever do, for a moment, feel like you want to watch a NASCAR race, take the time and go online and actually see how much it would cost you to go. Because in the end, the money that you would spend on going to that race will pay for one of the best experiences you will ever get to experience by going to a NASCAR race. Thank you, and have a great day.